Hey, hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, something different for you today. We just get about to go into the clinic. Um, probably about six months or so ago, I did a video on uh, a private health hosp uh, healthcare hospital in it. Thailand, Nina getting a uh, leg checked out there. But uh, today I'm taking her into the clinic. Ever since we returned from the Philippines, she's developed a really bad cough in her throat. When we were snorkeling on one of the islands there at Balakasad, first time she'd ever snorkeled and she thinks she breathed a bit of salt water in. Well, I know she did, she was coughing her ass up. And it wasn't too bad, but it's gradually got gotten worse. You know, she'd cough of a morning and of an evening as you would with a sore throat. But even today, she's coughing now through the middle of the day. So I'm gonna take her in there, just in the clinic in Bianchian. Um, I've never been there before, never experienced any of the healthcare in Laos, so it's new to me. You guys are coming along for a ride, so I can't give you much more information other than that now. I don't know what it's going to be like, the healthcare in Laos. So. For minor things, it's pretty good. You know, for you know, any major things, you, you are better off going into Udon Thani in it, uh, Thailand. Thailand does have a really good healthcare system. Very good hospitals. Well, that's not far at all, guys. It's not far from our place at all. I'll whack it up here on a map and pinpoint it for you guys. So um, it's not far from the center of town either. Yeah, 24 hour urgent medical care. Yeah, so it is just a throat infection, guys. Um, they did take her blood just to... We're just about to go to the market. It's about 6 a.m. They did take her blood just to make sure she didn't pick up anything while we were in the Philippines. And as soon as they were taking her blood, she actually requested to get a lot of blood tests done. It's been a little while since she's had her blood done. So she thought while they're at it and so she doesn't have to go through getting stuck again stuck with a needle while they're taking her blood they took extra she got a full blood count done uh liver her lipids um it was about 11 other tests just to make sure everything was all right and everything come back fine it is just the it is just a throat infection, so what I can't get over is the actual price. The consultation in there, just to walk in, is 35,000 kip, which is less than six Aussie bucks, less than four US dollars. So yeah, guys, uh, it's going to set you back 35,000 kip. As you can see, plenty of um, nurses on hand, doctors. Uh, one thing that did stick out that we are not west, not used to back at home was doctors and nurses, everybody in there walking around bare feet. <laughs> uh, yeah, it may seem weird to us, but the floors were, you know, spotless, like in most um, Lao homes and establishments, polished tiles and it, it was it looked fairly clean to me so i'd have no hesitation going there for you know if i wasn't feeling well food poisoning minor cuts and abrasions you know uh, if, if you want just wanted to check up get blood tests done no problems at all and like i said it's not going to cost you the most expensive part of her experience there was um they put her on a, a drip and um, I don't know whether that was just to get fluids back into her, but she did say she felt well better afterwards, as you would if you are dehydrated. And that was 60,000 kip, so that was 10 bucks, $6.50 US. And, you know, as I mentioned, with the full blood count and 11 other uh, uh, tests that they carried out on her blood, the consultation, the drip, and all the medication they've given her, including the uh, antibiotics, painkillers for her throat, which was like a, a panadine or a panadol with vitamin C, and um, turpin plus codeine. 
enough for a week or so totaled everything inclusive 600,000 so you're looking at a hundred Aussie dollars um, yeah and it was the the blood test that Nene um, asked for that put that price up if it was just for her throat you know just for them to diagnose and um, just check to make sure that she had picked up nothing from the Philippines it was um, it was so 35,000 kip for the consultation the medication was less than ten dollars uh, less than 60 so it was going to cost around the hundred thousand kip mark with the consultation and all the medication unbelievable just you know and um, like, um, and what made it makes it easier to they actually gave us a printout of the report in English so I'd be able to understand it also the doctors and some of the nurses spoke English very well which uh, makes it easier for tourists when they're traveling there and more comfortable to go there and know that they're going to be able to explain what is wrong with them you know, like I said I'd have no problem going there if I had a touch of a stomach bug food poisoning weren't feeling well just to you know actually get diagnosed and you know um, get some medicine but as you know it was not a hospital it was just a, a 24-hour emergency <laughs> clinic still have not had any experience with any of the hospitals over here so and this is just one clinic that we've been to but fairly fairly positive um, so no, I, I'd be fairly confident in going there. You know, it, everything would seem positive to me, so not a problem at all, guys. I'm just in here at the markets waiting for Nene, and you're all smudged because you've been sitting in my pocket, sweaty pocket, while I've been walking backwards and forwards with all this stuff. Uh, what's on today? I don't know what is on today yet, um, but if anything's happening, you guys will be sure to know. Uh, thanks for stopping in, guys. If you like this video, you know what to do, and make sure you hit that notification bell. That way, you're not going to be. It's that way you're going to be notified when I do upload. You're not going to miss out on anything. Stay cool, guys. Bye.